Hey everyone and welcome to FYI Philly. We're at Alice Fina, home to one of Philly's top dogs. You know, our partners at Philadelphia Magazine did the hard part. Very difficult. <laughs> they put together a list of six hot dogs that are must eats while the sun is still hot and the day is still long. Jamie Apodi tackled the equally tough job of taste testing. There's a lot of places in town that have got great hot dogs on the menu. Underdogs in Rittenhouse has 23 dogs, but one stands out. The Georgia Bulldog is just selling like crazy lately. The Bulldog shows well with house-made pepper hash and Carolina-style barbecue sauce. As people have been discovering pepper hash more and more and more, they just really love it. It's sort of their combination of barbecue sandwich slash hot dog. Beautiful Georgia Bulldog. The Grub House on Passyunk Avenue in South Philly has a hot dog that's to die for. What are we making? Okay, we're making the heart attack dog right now. It starts with an all beef dog, but quickly escalates. So they're wrapped in bacon. Yes. And then we fry them. Yeah. They're topped with chili, cheddar cheese, and scallions. Time to have a heart attack. But seriously, this has taken years off your life and it's totally worth it. From South Philly to Spring Garden, where Mark Vetri's mortadella dog is the perfect fit for the Alaspina menu. It has like a sort of really high-end component and a really sort of like gritty street food component to it. And the mortadella dog like fits right in that sweet spot. The house-made salumi is cooked on the pulancha. Served with some spicy Dijon mustard, spicy house-made pickles. And then our pickled red cabbage, and that is the Alaspina mortadella hot dog. Paisano's has their own Italian masterpiece. All right. Tuscatoni. It's a beef sausage served on a hollowed out long roll wrapped in melted propolone and soppressata. All those nearly translucent pieces of love is nothing but flavor. It's basically a Texas Tommy with an Italian passport. The dog is smothered with bolognese, white onion, and topped with a long hot for a special kick. We want there to be an experience, so that's the Tuscan Tony. At Varga Bar on the corner of 10th and Spruce, it's part hot dog, part masterpiece. It's so much better than it needs to be. The Kobe beef dog is cooked in beer. Just a slow cook until the a hot dog just kind of plumps up. You just get that snap of beer in there. Topped with Kobe beef chili, aged cheddar, and sliced pickles, all housed on an onion roll and served with beer battered onion rings. We take the extra step to make things better to a chef's level, I would say. At Reading Terminal, there's a dog with a twist. The pretzel dog at Miller's Twist. It is the perfect marriage of Philadelphia foods. An all beef dog wrapped in Roger Miller's exceptional pretzel dough. It's a unique product, so it's not like we invented it, but I feel like we perfected it. Baked to golden brown, then dipped in butter, and you've got a city favorite. Philly people love it. What's not to love, right? And we should mention that Alaspina just switched to a foot-long mortadella hot dog for summer. This is the big guy. How big it is, right? Because <laughs> yeah. when the days are longer, you need a longer dog. We'll buy that logic. Okay, yep.